everybody, welcome back to another video. So before I start this video, I just saw a little surprise in our rat rack. Yeah, so one of our little mamas is in the process of giving birth this morning. So I'll let her finish and then I'll check on her here in a little bit uh, towards the end of this video. So for today's video, I'm gonna be cleaning out some tubs that need to be cleaned out in our rack. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about substrate and show you how I clean out our tubs. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. We would really appreciate it. And go ahead and go check out our Instagram pages for updated pictures. The links are in the description below. So let's jump right into this video. First, let's talk about substrate specifically for ball pythons. Um, if you don't know, not all substrate is created equal and the substrate you use depends on where you live. Um, I live in the United States, so if you live towards the southern end of the United States where it is more humid, then you may want to go with an aspen bedding, something that's a little more dry to absorb the humidity. You don't want to up that humidity anymore because your climate already has enough of it. Now, if you live in a more dry climate like I do here in Northern Nevada, then something that holds the humidity would probably be best, like cypress mulch or coconut husk, things like that. I personally prefer coconut husks. I feel like if I get it wet here and there that it holds the perfect humidity uh, for my ball pythons. They've never had an issue. And I typically change it out once a month. I do a once a month complete tub clean. So that is what I'm going to do today and show you guys. Uh, the two coconut husks that I prefer are Coco Blocks from Freedom Breeder as well as Rectichip. Those are the two that I tend to go back and forth. I don't have a specific preference between one or the other. I feel like they're pretty much the same. But to, for today's video, we are going to be using Reptichip and I'm gonna go ahead and go prepare a batch because I just got a new block and I need to make some up before we do the tub clean. All right, so we got our Repta chip, and now I'm just gonna prepare it in the bin. All right, we're gonna let that sit for a minute to let absorb the water so uh, we can break the block apart, and then we'll get in and start doing our tubs. All right, so our cocoa block is expanding. I don't know if you can see that, but it starts to expand. So now we flip it over and we cut the top and we might put a little bit more water in there and then it should just crumble apart. All right, so now we're just gonna cut the sides. falls apart. All right, now that we got all of our cocoa husk all done, now we're gonna take it inside and get the bins going. The noisy bird behind me. All right, so what I do is half of our rack is empty. So I pull these empty ones out, switch the name tags, and I will fill that up with substrate and then switch the snake over and take the dirty bin outside and wash it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna go outside and wash the ones that need to be washed. All right, so I fill up the bin with two thirds worth of substrate and I always leave the back for the hot spot so the snake can get that good belly heat in the back. So now I'm gonna transfer her water dish over, put the snake in it and switch out the bins. A fresh clean bin with a nice beautiful snake. I just cleaned their water dishes and completely washed and sanitized them. So I'm not gonna do that today. And there we go. One down.
All right, so I'm only doing those six today. I don't do them all in one day. It, it's a big chore to try to do all of them in a single day. So I typically rotate. I did uh, the other six or seven about a week ago. So these are just the last six that needed to be cleaned out for this month. So now I'm gonna take the bins outside and I dump the old coconut husk into uh, where we have some of our fruit trees. I put them around it, it helps keep moisture and add some nutrients to the soil. So I kind of repurposed the cocoa bark and then I'm gonna wash out the tubs. So before we go outside, I wanted to point out that one block, which is uh, 72 quarts, it fills up this bin. Now, I will put a link in the description how big this bin is or I'll put it up on the screen. Um, but that will fill up this bin and I typically can do anywhere from eight to 10, depending on how much substrate you put in your bin, one block will do eight to 10 of the Freedom Breeder 70 tubs. All right, I got some helpers to help me get all these outside. Go ahead, Macy. Oh, got it on. Push the door open. Go open the door for them, lovey. Go open the door. All right, hold the door open. Hold it, go outside, hold it. There you go, all right. Go dump it in the grapevines. All right, let's go. Makes the nice grapevines look good too. All right, I got my hat. We got some supplies. Now let's get to cleaning. So I'm all done cleaning out the bins. I'm just gonna let them kind of dry out in the sun for a little bit. The wind just picked up. So we're gonna take this back inside. All right, so the bins are all clean and I changed out everything. So between Cocoa Block and Reptichip, the two that I switch in between uh, for our substrate, if I had to choose one or the other, I think I would go with the Reptichip. Only because I find that it smells a little bit better. I don't know why, they're both Cocoa Block, but maybe from where they're sourced. The Reptichip, in my opinion, just smells a little bit better, but that's just preference. And I find that it's a little less dusty. So if I had to pick one over the other, I think I would go with Reptichip. So before we end this video, again, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Like the video if you liked it. Go check out our Instagram pages. The links are in the description below. And before we leave, let's go check on our rat babies. So there's Mama. What you got going on back there? Oh, look at all the little noodles. So far, so good. All right, so it looks like we got 12 babies this time around. Mama and babies look very good. They're doing well. So again, thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel. Give the video a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!